Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood farmer, Raznak. We are back on Calmston by Oxygen David for part two of our collectibles journey, finding all the collectibles on Calmston. We got 21 collectibles in the first episode. If you didn't watch that, I would recommend go ahead and see that. If not, if you're just here for a specific item that we talk about in this video, thanks for coming by, and I hope this helps. So we're going to start out right here at our spawn point at the main house. And we're going to talk about a couple ones that take a few minutes to discuss and then we'll go grab these, which are actually quite easy to get. So what we want to do is we, I want to talk about this right here. So there is a collectible right here. Now you don't see it. And I'm going to tell you why you don't see it. This is one of those unique collectibles that only spawn in during winter time. Back here, uh, there, there's a collect you're going to find a collectible. You'll probably find a snowman holding this collectible. And in fact, let's put that to the test real quick. What do you say? Let's see if it's, let's see if I'm right. All right. I'll be right back. And we are back. And wouldn't you know that the world around us has changed a little bit. The leaves have fallen from the trees. These hedges that were full of green have changed. The, I mean, it's look at the the yard has changed it's 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 very different the lawnmower is gone i mean everything kind of changes so oxygen david and his brilliance has placed seasonable seasonable objects which means the world changes as the seasons go through it is december and would you know we have our little friend the snowman holding a trailer. That's right. This trailer was not there before, but it was. And we'll, we'll go back to it and I'll show you. But if you want to find the trailer, how it's meant to be found, you'll have to wait until December to find the trailer. Can you get it outside of December? Yeah, you can wait. But when it gets cold, you get a little snowman in your backyard. And when your snowman's in your backyard, there you go. But yeah, beautiful stuff has changed. Uh, all the scenery has changed. The trees have changed. The hedges, you can see the hedges have lost all their leaves and you kind of see through a lot of them now. It's just, just absolutely beautiful. Nice little touch. So if you're having trouble finding something, it might be season specific sometimes. Just depends on how quirky and uh, inventive the map author is. All right, let's go back in time to where we were and let's finish up this quest for the collectibles. And we are back in time in the month of August. And man, again, like I said, the world is so very different. Greenery is all full and um, we're drying clothes here. There's no snowman. But if you actually walk up to this, walk up to the spot where the snowman would be up, you will see a collect option. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. We'll hit collect. Boop. And we actually get a trailer. That is the purple trailer. The purple trailer you can find, or violet, uh, you can find that at 964-852. 964-852 is the purple trailer, or in December, where the snowman's at. But you can get it outside of that. Now, while we're here, let's run up the road just real quick. Uh, actually, let me fire this up. GS collectible show all that'll help us kind of find where we're going but if you go up to the sheep pasture you're going to find a collectible and so right here is the sheep pen right if you hit animal dialogue you know just you can open it up and you put sheep in there now i think there might be a problem with the the animal dialogue because you can hit the animal dialogue here and then if you go out in the road, you can hit the animal dialogue here. And if you're this far away, you can hit the animal dialogue here. So I don't know if there's a problem with the sheep pasture trigger, but what it does is if you look, here's the sheep pasture. If you look right here, you will find a blue pig. That's right, a little blue pig hanging out here all on his own behind this wall by the sheep pasture. But here's the problem, you can't pick it up. I cannot find a way to pick it up because every time you hit R to collect this blue pig, you get the animal trigger from the sheep pen over there because the trigger extends way out around this building. I'm not exactly sure why. And again, I don't know. I mean, we're all the way over here and we're getting the sheep trigger. But 
that is causing an overlap, allowing us not to pick that up. Now, if you're really pushed, I guess you probably could sell this. You could, I think you can sell the sheep pasture. And when you sell it, that trigger may go away, but then you don't have the nice, beautiful custom sheep pasture that Oxygen David put into the map. Now, you may not like the custom sheep pasture and you want rid of it anyways. And in that case, maybe I'm, I haven't tried it. Maybe you can grab this pig. But so let's just go ahead and do that. And let's see if that if that does what we want it to do. So let's jump into the menu and then let's go to our SRP. Let's go to construction. Let's find our sheep pasture somewhere. Let's. I don't want to rename it. I want to oh, click on it. Where is the animals? Do you want to sell the sheep pasture? Let's hit yes and click OK. Now, is there a trigger now? No, there's no trigger. So what we did is we removed the nice sheep pasture out there which I don't want to do because you can't place it back down. I mean, you, you, you can't place this nice big open pasture back down. So it's kind of sad that you have to do that to get to this pig. And I think that's an oversight. And hopefully I've sent, oh, I put a message on Oxygen David's Facebook page. Hopefully this gets fixed in the future, but that way you can grab the blue pig, the blue pig here at 10, 23, 730, our blue pig, boop. And now we have them. That is another collectible. All right, let's run south real quick and we will finish up the rest of the collectibles in this area. So from the main house, here's our main house. You're going to go south along this nice country road. There's going to be a Y in the road. You're going to see this beautiful gate with this nice textured land, but we don't want to go there. What we want to do is kind of turn up the Y right here and off to our left we're going to see this beautiful little country house and you're going to find some of our collectibles here so again let's pull up our map for our bearings we have one two three four collectibles right here between 26 and 32 all different kinds of stuff just waiting for us to grab easy enough we'll just jump back here and you can already see one right back here by this little shed up the drive you will find a pink or magenta cedar. This is the pink or magenta cedar at 9, 10, 10, 38. Let's go ahead and grab that one. Not far from the pink and magenta cedar here in the backyard, right next to the cedar, you will find the red pig. The red pig can be found at 9, 17, 10, 30. Boop. We'll grab him up. And again, remember, we're between 26 and 32. There are four collectibles right here close to one another in this area. We'll walk around the edge of the house. Right here is our nice pink slash magenta plow. Pink magenta plow, 9, 24, 10, 28. Oop, we got that one, 9, 24, 10, 28. Last but not least, we'll just make our way around the house. We will find the red trailer, 9, 23, 10, 20. 9, 23, 10, 20 is the red trailer. Oop, and we are finished with this area. Our next set of collectibles aren't very far away. We're gonna head west through field 26, spooking the deer. Here's a little deer hanging out. And then the birds and the sounds. This map is beautiful. I just like to walk around it and drive around it. I like it. It's a very, very pretty map. Very pretty map. Uh, let's go this way. Now we will find this house just right at the corner of 26 and 27. I actually go out here by the road so you can see. It's actually, I think it's a, a church. It is a church. I called it a house, but this is one of, this is the church right here in memory of JKF, July 31st, 1917. That's very, very nice. So what you want to do is you actually want to climb up on top of the church and easy enough, it has one of these very, very slanted roofs that go almost down to the ground. You're going to climb up on top of this church and looky there, you're going to find the pink tractor right on top of the church at 812 980 is our pink slash magenta tractor. And if you're standing here, 
and you just look looky there another tractor again these are all so very close together we have the orange tractor at 820 987 820 987 is the orange tractor we grab that up turn around and we'll see two more collectibles just waiting for us to pick them up just hanging out there is the red sheep the red sheep is 813 983 Oop, we'll grab him or her and then also the red cow just all right here along this church area the red cow is at 801 or 802984. 802984 is our red cow cow cow. We'll grab him. That's 44 collectibles. Now, when you grab that red cow, just turn around and look south. And look right there. You see that little bit of purple? You know it. That is our next collectible. Actually, two of them right here. This is our purple horse. Purple horse can be easily found at 811 1016. We will grab the purple horse up and then we have our red horse just separated by a wall from our purple horse. We have the red horse at 8, 15, 20, 12 and boop. And that is 46 of 100 collectibles. So 46 of 100 collectibles are right here in the center of the map. Half of your collectibles right there in the center of the map. Not very, very hard to find at all. Um, very quick, easy way of doing it. Um, but yeah, that's that's it's just, it's just nice to be able to get those done quickly. All right, that's it for this video. This is, again, we're gonna do probably three more videos, one, two, four more videos probably, and to, to kind of get this knocked out. In fact, I might do this, and this is one video. Yeah, that's what we'll do in the next one. I hope this has helped you a lot finding these collectibles. I hope you enjoy walking around and experiencing the beauty that is Calmson. It's an absolutely beautiful, stunning map. Uh, I've seen some complaints, complaints about cell points and stuff like that. I haven't played the map, so personally I can't comment. Um, but I know in the past from work that Oxygen David and Frontier Designs has put out that they, they put out very quality stuff um, that that is, is playable and it's fun and it's great and it looks absolutely magnificent. And I love finding all these little collectibles and I hope you do too. Until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.